Welcome back to 843 TV. We're here now with Mr. Dan Dubril. He's the GM and COO here at Spring Island. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So you're kind of new. A little bit. A little bit. So when did, when did you begin at Spring Island and share a little bit of your background? Well, great. Well, thank you very much for having me here today and welcome back to Spring Island. Um, I've been here since mid-March and it was actually a dream come true for me. I uh, worked on Hilton Head for about six years back from 2000, 2006 as the general manager at Country Club of Hilton Head. And I've been in the club business my entire life. I grew up at a club in Northern Virginia. My mom was a membership director. My dad was president of the club. And I've been involved and around clubs my entire life, washing dishes when I was 13. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like to say I'm just a glorified bartender. But, um, You've you know, worked your way up the ranks, obviously. I've kind of worked my way up the ranks. I, I love what I do. I have a real passion for what I do. And I think that's uh, why I think I've been successful. But I spent a couple of years at uh, Virginia Tech. I was going to go in the military. That didn't work out. That wasn't really for me. Uh, too many rules. <laughs> and um, so I finished up at Appalachia State on my own and uh, put myself back through school. Got married, have three children, um, 25, uh, 19, and 18. And uh, I just love what I do. And when the opportunity to come to Spring Island came on, I, I just couldn't pass it up. You know, of all the beautiful communities down here in the low country, this is the only one that's ever stood out to me. And uh, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity and it, it worked out great. Well, I can understand why you didn't want to pass it up. <laughs> It'd be hard to. In the three months you've been here, Dan, what, um, like what struck you most about Spring Island or what have, what have you enjoyed most about? You know, it's, it's really learning something new every day. You know, this isn't your typical country club community. It's, it's so unique and so diverse. And um, I can literally walk out the door and discover something. And um, it is literally not a treasure hunt because it's in front of you. You just have to recognize it. Yeah. And, uh, um, but it's, it's really remarkable. And the, the team here is just absolutely spectacular. There's so much tenure that goes back to, you know, the 80s and 90s, well before Spring Island was, was really Spring Island. And the tenure, just imagine the service staff is, you know, well over 100 years. And in the hospitality business, to say that, that's, yeah. it says something about a community. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, we, you know, we all know that Spring Island has uh, world-class amenities and its natural beauty is, is unmatched out here. What do you think the biggest asset is out here? Well, in any community, it has to be the staff, the team, the leadership team. Uh, the leadership team here is absolutely remarkable. One of the reasons I took this position was because of the team. I had an opportunity to sit down with them for uh, an hour and a half and just talk about where they are and where they're going and what their passion was. And they, they appreciate the island. I drove around with Jay. And you know, one of the unique things about our community is we have these speed limit signs, you know, and it's 27 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour, and, and because it is what we are. And, and he, that was something that I recognized as I put it on cruise control and go 25 exactly. miles an hour. But <laughs> you know, you think about Jay, who's been here 18 plus years. You think about Billy Sampson, the director of golf, who's been here over 20 years. Um, you know, Doug Gaddy, our facilities manager. Um, Tammy, you know, our w director of wellness. Johnny Taylor, 28 years. I mean, it's. Well, it's why real. would you want to leave? Yeah. It truly is one of the nicest communities, because yeah. people. I think one of the biggest misconceptions is that people assume that it's it's closed and kind of standoffish and it's absolutely the opposite of that. Absolutely. It's, uh, the community is so diverse and so unique, and the membership here is just remarkable. Uh, you know, you leave a club in the mountains where I came from, and it was a southern-based club, and you come to a club that's basically full of northerners. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I love them both. My dad's from Connecticut. My mom's from North Carolina, so I'm, I'm kind of halfway in between. But it's just a really special place, and um, they really, really care about the island. And they really do, and you can tell. Mm -hmm. Um, so, Dan, can you tell us, share with us some of the, uh, the new ideas, uh, management style, or new team members you may be trying to implement here sure. during your time? Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, you know, my management style is uh, very open and engaging. I, I, that's what I love about this business is just being around people. Um, the, the other aspect, sitting in my office and doing paperwork is not what I, what I enjoy <laughs> at all, especially when you have a venue like this. Uh, I have uh, Mickey, my golden doodle, is here with me, and he and I walk out every afternoon. We come out here on the deck and we walk down by the water and, and really enjoy it. Um, from the staff standpoint, I, I haven't tried to introduce anything new uh, yet. I'm still too, I'm still too new. Right. Uh, but there's one thing that helps develop a culture, and that's you know, the appre appreciation recognition of our employees. Mm -hmm. And we do an employee appreciation luncheon uh, once a month. We, we bring in pizza. Last, week, last month we had um, Jersey Mike subs, and we had 70 to 80 of our staff in. 
And one thing that we try and do is recognize them for all their hard work. And I have each of my department heads take a moment to recognize a specific staff member and that have created a magic moment at the club. Absolutely, so, building a little morale. Absolutely, and, it, it, and it's an important part. It's just yeah. a collection of magic moments that creates a member's experience. So. Um, I had brought on two new folks. Uh, they were two open positions when I got here. Uh, Ron Dietrich came in from um, the mountains with me. Uh, he's our new assistant food and beverage manager or beverage manager. Uh, he's working for Patty Landon and uh, Deb Gerlach, who um, replaced a, a longtime employee, Kathy Willis, who had been here for 25, 26 years as my director of club operations. And I'd watched her career over the last 10 years really develop and blossom. And I've had an opportunity to bring her in and work with her. Nice. So. Well, speaking of magic moments, mm -hmm. we, we learned that the uh, Spring Island Club is a Distinguished Emerald Club recipient. Mm -hmm. Can you explain a little bit about this designation? Absolutely. One of the, another great reason to come to Spring Island is to be a part of a club that's been recognized for this. And yeah. uh, the club has worked hard to achieve this recognition. And what's unique about it, it's not uh, you know the quality of the facilities. It's not the you know the total number of golf holes or total profits. It's actually about the intangible aspects of the experience. And um, when I talk about magic moments and the member experience, that's what the recognition is for. It's for creating an incredible member experience, the quality of service, the quality of the governance of the community, um, and really the intangibles of every aspect of, of a community. And to be a part of that and be recognized for that is, is really remarkable, so. Well, I just think, I always say this, I think this is the most amazing place because it's so private but it is the most, it's the best community at the same time. Everybody is so friendly, the staff, the residents. I just love this Very place. welcoming, for sure. It really Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Yeah. It's very special. Dan, great stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much we for joining us today. Appreciate you having me. Absolutely. Stick around for one more segment of 843 TV.